Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift, and I'm back with another video. This is just kind of a quick little video. Um, it's another VMware uh, workstation. Uh, this is VMware Workstation 15.5, which is the newest updated version running in Windows 10. And if you've watched my previous videos, uh, I've been installing Mac OS on this version of VMware Workstation and 15 but I use an Intel CPU so I don't have to do any extra steps other than what is in my video I'm sorry my previous videos on how to install Mac OS but if you're running an AMD CPU an older AMD CPU AMD Ryzen you're gonna need to do just one more extra step to your VMX file in order to install Mac OS and then boot into it or else you're gonna get the error that says the CPU has been disabled by the host system or guest system or whatever it is I forget what exactly the error message is but it's gonna tell you something about the CPU is being disabled that's because you're using an AMD CPU now I'm gonna show you this quick step and I can't show you the step and then boot into the OS because mine's gonna work either way because I have an Intel Core i9 9900k processor so this is only for users with an AMD CPU okay so it's real it's really easy so you open your VMware workstation which mine is open right here and then you're gonna go to whatever um, uh, virtual machine you want to do this with and you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna go to open VM directory so see I'm in my VM directory you're gonna find your VMX file dot VMX which it's right here see VMware virtual machine configuration file just to make sure you can right click go to properties see VMX so you're gonna right click on the VMX file go to open with and mine's already popping up showing notepad but yours might just be open with make sure you go to open with then go to notepad and you're gonna it's gonna show you the configuration for the virtual machine so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the bottom very bottom of the uh, configuration file and we're gonna take this web page right here like I said which I will include this in the description and you're gonna take all of this right here and you're gonna highlight it so you got the whole thing right click go to copy then we can uh, close that page or get rid of it I'll just throw it over to one of my other monitors right click paste bam there you go it's right in the bottom of the VMX files configuration uh, configuration section see where it shows how it's all set up so this is basically just configuring the CPU so you can use an AMD CPU and run Mac OS and uh, like I said I don't have an AMD CPU so I could just close out of mine but you're gonna uh, save it I'm not gonna save it because I use an Intel CPU but if you use AMD that's how you do it you save it and then you should be able to boot right into the OS. It should work no problem. Uh, that's what I found online. Like I said, I can't test this. But every video I've watched where they did this and pasted that into, into the VMX file at the bottom right there, it works no problem. So that's how you do it. And uh, if you have any issues or whatever, or, um, you know, just post it down in the description help other people out and uh, thank you for watching my videos thanks for subbing subscribing getting a ton of comments ton of views and as always bye for now